A lot has happened. The boat is starting to look really significantly different, which is somewhat satisfying up in the V-Birth and in other areas. Oh, I see. It's getting like <laughs> because in the salon, in the opposite direction. Exactly, it is looking different, but not in the right direction. Exactly. But the opposite for now. So I think I would slightly tape outside of the line so that then we can uh, take an eraser and erase the lines, um, sure. otherwise they might be visible. And also we'll, we'll give a nicer finish if the varnish disappears under, Definitely. but only a tiny bit. So two millimeters. It's time to varnish. Two episodes ago, Aladino painstakingly cut out the plywood pieces that will close up our decks for good. And after months spent making new deck beams and new blockings, this is a major milestone, and it's very exciting. We've already applied epoxy to the plywood, but we also want to apply varnish just to the sections that will be visible from the interior. Alright, so we are going to put some varnish on, but it's a new kind of varnish that we've never used before, so we're both a bit curious to see kind. how it goes. It's just new to us. Yeah, exactly. We bought it because it does seem like it might make our lives slightly easier because apparently it doesn't want to be sanded in between coats. Yes. Apparently. That's what it's telling us. I mean, yeah, often there is no such magic, especially if you want a nice finish, there is, there is sanding involved. But now that we already have an epoxy base and that one has been sanded, there is no wood grain to lift. Um, so if we are careful about it, we should be able to put on two to three coats and hopefully get a pleasant result, which yeah. is all we're after here. Let's get into it. All right. So this shouldn't take too long. And we are rolling and tipping. So one person rolls and the other person tips.
All right, we just finished varnishing and uh, it's about 6, 6.30, which is normally when we start trying to wrap up projects. But today we were just feeling like getting some more done. And so I think we're gonna try and fiberglass in the head. You may remember that we ripped the walls apart in the head in order to repair the rotten balsa insulation beneath. Now that the repair is done, all that's left is covering it with some new fiberglass. So we figured, why not? Let's get this done. Normally, for larger fiberglass projects, we'd use slow hardener, which gives us more working time. But since it's so cold right now, we figured we'd use the medium fast hardener so that it wouldn't take eons to cure. All right, are you ready? It's go time. The epoxy is mixed now. By now, Aladino and I have our fiberglassing routine sorted out. Aladino applies the glass, and I keep him supplied with a steady stream of freshly mixed epoxy. This is helpful because mixing all the epoxy at once may cause it to cure too quickly. Smaller batches, one at a time, make the work far less stressful. Are you in here, Dini? Ah, there you are. Cleaning out the stove? Yeah, a little bit of maintenance. It was overflowing quite a bit. Taking the ashes out. Hey, this looks so good. It looks nice, doesn't it? So you came out here after dinner last night and you put on a second coat, so now there's two coats on here. Exactly. I'm gonna go check on the other events from last night, which were up in the head. Hopefully it stayed warm enough in here. And I'm really just hoping that the epoxy cured. But I'm touching it now and it feels perfectly dry, perfectly cured, which is really, really great. So this little radiator did its job. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty shocked by how much insulation just these thin plastic sheets provide. I mean, obviously it's not the best insulation, but it does a really good job. There's a very noticeable temperature difference as soon as you step in. As for the rest of the day, we were both continuing on with various tasks all over the boat. I started by giving the plywood another coat of varnish. There's a million projects open right now, which is good because when we have to wait for one thing to cure or another thing to be delivered, there's always something else that's ready to be worked on. But this piecemeal approach can feel a bit less satisfying overall, as it sometimes feels like progress is just inching along so slowly.
This looks very satisfying, at least, although the fumes are so strong that it means we can't be in the boat without a respirator for at least a day afterwards. So I continued with sanding some of the V-Birth components that will fit in place pretty soon. And then we continued by fixing some mistakes in my varnishing job. Oh man. So we didn't wait long enough with the interval, we assume, and therefore the last coat didn't flow as nicely. Uh, and yeah, therefore the brush strokes can be seen. So since we are applying one more coat, I just uh, scuffed it up with 240 and that's, that goes really well, it goes really easy. Um, we can even leave the tape on because the tape also has four layers on it. By now the fumes in the boat had dissipated so I returned inside and began more scraping and sanding. I removed the bulkhead mounted table only to discover that its back was actually a veneer glued directly to the bulkhead. Aladino helped to remove it, and miraculously, it didn't actually all splinter apart. Awesome. With the table gone, time for me to scrape off the sticky goop that had held the veneer in place, and then sand the rest of the bulkhead down to bare wood. For pretty much as long as I've been alive, I've gone to the beach when I need to find center. This type of beach in particular, cold, gray, rocky, piled with driftwood. Even now, with the gray clouds overhead and the cold, damp air, still, on the far shore, there are lights twinkling, and a bird just flew by quite close, and the water is so calm tonight. Like I mentioned last week, it feels like we're on the cusp of so many big things, but there's a constant roller coaster of emotions as we spend days fiddling with smaller things, seeing little cumulative progress, at least day by day. Everything is inching forward, inching forward, and our motivation has reached a low point. We need some big moments, or perhaps we just need a short change of scenery, I'm not sure. I also know though that with a project like this, it would be crazy if we didn't experience a little bit of up and down. No matter how happy we are to be building our dream boat, to have the chance to do it, it's still a huge and long project, and excitement ebbs and flows. The excitement will flow again soon, I'm quite sure of it, but right now we're at a bit of an ebb. I know that the light in here is pretty bad, but I'm just gonna put the final coat onto these deck pieces that we've now sanded. Meanwhile, Aladino began applying real paint over top of the primer in the V-Birth. This is exciting, a beautiful, tangible result, even if we're only starting just with the bilge until we install the rest of the V-Birth components. We're using two-component polyurethane from Epiphanus, our favorite durable and beautiful finish, and the same paint that we used on Magic Carpet 1. We kept going, ticking off task after task on our long list, 
like fiberglassing over the balsa in the saloon. So this past week has felt haphazard, and perhaps a little slow to us. But the magic of many little tasks is that put all together they make a big difference. The deck pieces were varnished and ready for installation. The V-berth was primed and partially painted. The head and the saloon got new fiberglass. The bulkhead and the saloon got sanded down, ready for new paint. Actually, a lot of surfaces got sanded, even if I didn't film them all. And the magic of video is that we can actually look back at all of this. And when we see it all put together in a nice, concise little episode, well, it doesn't seem so slow after all.